ready i am glad that nearly all the chief ministers have endorsed the approach paper to the seventh plan some people were under the impression that we were actually discussing the plan of course we are not this discussion is merely about the direction which we want the next plan to have we pay so much attention to decentralization because you would know what kind of flexibility is needed what are the difficulties of specific areas even within the states and to what extent they can or cannot implement any particular program a point was made here about the urban poor we have been looking into it we have programs for slum improvement but it needs more careful consideration our difficulty as the finance minister pointed out is lack of finances and not of lack of will or lack of appreciation of the problem if we spend more on any one scheme we have to take it away from something else and that is why we have given first importance to the rural areas which as a whole are far more backward economically than other areas if the rural areas are improved then some of the problems of the urban slums might lessen people will not be compelled to come to cities and towns that does not mean that we ignore those who are living in the towns we must see what can do for them the chief minister of tamil nadu has made a point with which i entirely agree he has mentioned it in connection with rural unemployment i think that it has a larger connotation also he has said that rural employment can be tackled on a long term basis through the organized creation of appropriate skills in the villages i think this is a very important point today everybody asks for some big project consequently agitations are built upon these demands as you know i am not against big projects we have many of them and we shall no doubt have many more we have medium size projects we have small scale industry we have village industry and others we are neglecting much of the resources which already exist in our rural areas we are neglecting much of the talent which is there in our rural areas we must take a major effort to release these hidden talents and to make use of all these resources these resources do not consist only of mineral resources but there are all kinds of things which are available and which are in great demand outside it is not only a question of meeting the local needs we can use these things even today for export even the small things which we can very easily produce can be exported i think each one of you if you tackle the problem district wise or even block wise will find items which can make money for the local people in this way you can help the state and the country as a whole i have said this many times and i want to repeat it here that 92% of the resources that we need come from our own people it is only the limited 8% that we want from outside i am sure that even in the mobilization of resources we can do much more we can try to make better use of existing capacities local skills and local materials i find that there is a tendency now to go in for the most expensive material for construction i would like the chief ministers to take personal interest in it where a bridge or huge building is concerned this may be necessary in many areas for housing and for other smaller structures there there are several local materials available which have stood the test of time let us see what can be used locally but where the local material is wood we have to be careful under the excuse we do not want the hill states and other states to cut down more of their forestry we need that wood for other purposes we are trying to find alternative materials i have put it to our scientists also certainly we can make paper out of many things besides wood then there is recycling of waste products these are minor points if you really pay attention they do not need a lot of time or money 
they just need your effort and application you will be able to save money and serve a larger number of people than today i mentioned family planning in passing because of a particular remark made i should like to congratulate tamil nadu on the work it has done in family planning we certainly do not think that any state would suffer for doing good work in this very important area it is true that we must modernize all our forces we must modernize our industry we must modernize our agriculture we must modernize our people we are very much aware of this but again the constraint is largely of finance as and when we raise finances we must try to put them in this the other point is that we are not really using what gandhi ji called the women power of the country they have a tremendous potential to offer in the service of the country some states have made a beginning but other areas in the country particular places like ran have a long way to go before they can mobilize women to take an active part in emotional activities in this women's education is of very importance we have to lay stress on these points you may consider them small but i consider them big if we can succeed in these areas you will find that we shall be in a better position to do the bigger things we want i have covered many things that do not really come into the preview of the national development council but i think that they are basic to the success of our projects and our planning i thank you all for the attention which you have given we have been most interested in listening to your ideas naturally without your help and cooperation neither the plan nor anything else in the country can succeed